Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. Then what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. 
Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. You must understand I've received threats against her. Malcolm Miller has always waged war on me since Mr. Stein fought out his coup. And no offense, I hope, but you do not get killed. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in our redemption, Mr. Brown? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Snarek. I have a word to make it clear to the for what it is today. I will not allow anyone to bring it to me. That's one of Milner's. Himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it.
Heave ho, Jacob. Plummeting already. You're hired. Though I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall review the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. Like that.
Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be devastated. Hmm. I'll need a second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. <laughs> 